Uh, never actually facilitated such an informal session in Google before. <laughs> mostly, mostly done it uh, technically, uh, technically speaking with customers. But we welcome you to Google. Uh, thank you for coming. It's been a real pleasure to uh, manage to, to to convince you to come through this luring through lunches and the coffees and everything that you've seen what we're spoiled with and we don't notice because it comes daily yeah so thank you for coming and uh, uh today yeah as we you know discussed we didn't rehearse anything but like we have few googlers that uh i invited through our singapore cyclist uh mailing list so we have like an internal mailing list where we exchange sometimes like something some people usually just come for advice. Hi, how do how do I start cycling in Singapore? So um, yeah, but it's an informal uh, it's an informal community. It's an interest group in our firm. Uh, we do have a Strava group, by the way. Please do not join it because otherwise you'll beat everybody to the top in the summary. So yeah. <laughs> well, we have like a Googlers Singapore Strava group as well. But it's totally an interest group. And uh, yeah, I after after writing. Um, with you folks for a while, I thought it would be interesting maybe like to just share your uh, experience, your paths. Unfortunately, uh, YK was not able to join us, but uh, please welcome Stephen. Yay! Yay. 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 Okay. Uh, hi. 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 Uh, and yeah, I will shut up and I'll be, you tell me when to switch the slides. I don't, I don't know how else to do that. We have a lot of slides, but generally. Okay. Floor is yours. Me? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Steven Hon, project manager, retired and riding bike. <laughs> okay. Cool. So we we try to make a bit of a structure out of no structure, but please interrupt us, I guess, like with any questions, anytime. And uh, we have like 50 minutes or something, so it should be good. Uh, okay. Can I just... Yeah, yeah, totally. Wait, can you sit here? I sit here, maybe like I can switch lights. No, you sit here. Okay, I sit. I sit here. Firstly, I want to thank Sni for giving me this opportunity to <laughs> hear talk a little bit of bullshit. <laughs> okay, a bit of introduction of myself. <laughs> Before years old, uh, somehow I have uh, the luxury of doing what I want to do. Okay, today I have with me my wife. My son, hey. Lily Samuel. Uh, so thanks for having us. Okay, you yeah. ask me, huh, there's the topics of how do I start cycling? Basically, it all started with uh, yeah, the next one. Okay, uh, Audex. Okay. This is Audex. I write on Audex many years back. Yeah, this is the first out, so called ultra distance I've done to do the Audex 1002, which is Paris, Brest, Paris. PBP. This is a thousand two. Uh, it's quite interesting, quite nice. Is it Jeff in the middle? It's Jeff. Just Jeff. Yeah. Jeff. We have like six thousand riders starting together. Mass start almost. I mean, they 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 start in blocks. So it's quite a fantastic event for those who wanted to do long cycling. It's a good way to start from Audex. Yep. Okay, next. Oh, uh okay just flip back a bit why i put drop backs as unsupported so drop backs is like it's half supported a bit supported or maybe you can drop your backs at points where you can collect your stuff and put things back so the next okay this one this is unsupported meaning you have to carry whatever things with you everything in the bike with you so everywhere you go you bring with you so this is Japan. Uh, the distance is about 2005, plus minus, with lots of climbs, beautiful place, lots of rain, wet, cold. <laughs> it's in this, this, uh, somewhere in September, October, it's quite cold. Okay. okay next. next one. Yeah, this is Thailand. Bangkok, Parrot, Bangkok. It's they call it LRM. It's an it's a, it's also a type of Audex, but it's on a longer distance. So this is uh dropbacks. All Audex and LRM are with uh, what you call that dropbacks. So basically you don't have to carry everything with you. You can strategically place things at certain allocated 
location. Yeah. So move on. Ah, uh, this one is a highlight of what I did. Transcontinental, which is the, I would say, gold standard in ultra distant gold standard. It's not ex extremely long, but it's long enough to be like. If you do it within the block of time, you are like, the feeling is self-satisfaction. <laughs> it's perfectly gold. So this is Meteora, somewhere in Greece. This is in Transfugarasan. In, what is it now? Never mind. Oh, somewhere in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Romania. Yeah. Romania. Yeah. Oh, go for yeah, this is the transcontinental where I started from Belgium. Yep. Comes down to all the way to Italy. Move up to the High Trata, Slovenia. Eh. Yeah. High Trata. Yes. You, so, Slovakia. Slovakia. Yeah, and then down to all the way down to Greece. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one of the highlight events I've done. Okay. This is the mic setup. I did this in about 14 days. Yeah, 14 days. It's a, what, what this race is interesting is that I was, I mean, participants are given checkpoints. Then routes is you go and plan your own routes. So the unknown is there. Yeah. Unknown meaning, is it possible? Is it travelable? Is it, is it a highway? I don't know. I have passed through so many points that I hit. I have to <laughs> just get off the road because it's on a highway. Yeah, so it's interesting. This is the bike setup. Sorry, this is what I carry with me. Yeah, this is a giant. Yeah, this is my sleeping BV in front. Okay. Oh, for next. Oh, this is Japan. I like Japan so much that I went back to Japan on <laughs> Thursday. This, they call it the Japanese Odyssey, the Japanese Odyssey. But the route is different. The checkpoint is different. So every time this event has a different checkpoint. Yeah, it's the same setup where you choose your own route. They give you the points. Yeah, that's all. Yep. And next, uh, this is Thailand. I like Thailand so much. I go back to Thailand. <laughs> Uh, this is called the Isan 2020. The distance is 2020 km. So it's, uh, yeah, the interesting part of this kind of ride. I will ride with many people. All these people, I've not met them before. I've not met any of them. Yeah, so these are new friends. And then I will call them if I want to go there. <laughs> I, I get them to contact. They are from many different countries. He is from South Africa, Thai, Australian. Yeah, the rest are Thai and I'm here. Okay. This one he finished in five days. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a 400 a day. Yes. Yeah, it's about five, 400 quite, a day. It's quite flat until here. Yeah, it's yeah. still a lot of rollers. Yes, yes, yes. This is a bit sketchy. You ask me, like Cameron. <laughs> I don't know. I, it was like at night most of the time I'm doing the climb. Okay. Yeah. Better sleep on a bike. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Almost. Okay. 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 This is uh, Malaysia. This we, is this this year, right? Yeah. We did. I did it with Wei Chen and uh, YK is supposed to be here, but he, he was busy with his work. So uh, we finished in. I can't remember how many days, but... 92 hours. Huh? 92 hours. 92 hours is quite an achievement also. Yeah, it's quite a fun one. And then... Uh, Cameron uh, here. Uh, this is Fraser, Fraser, which is here. Cameron is here. Then we go round, come back. Actually, the descending is harder. Yeah. <laughs> the descending is like rolling. You... I'm at uh, elevation... Total elevation about... 2,500 at the Cameron top. Then when we reach the bottom, right, my elevation, total elevation become 3,000 plus. So you climb about 1,000 meters when you descend. <laughs> oh. That's wrong. 
it's, it's, uh, this is a highlight. This, is, this was on our mailing list. Like This is when you finish this, I sent an email. Uh, and then I said, would it be interesting if like, if you come and talk? And like a few folks who said, uh, I won't put names here, but someone said, yeah, I will totally show up. And they did show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so this was on our mailing list, yeah. Uh, so is he Yihong? Yeah, it's Yihong, yeah. Uh, Don't get yeah. distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one is the highlight where I did uh, earlier this year, in July, August, start from Trento, Italy, the, the Antonio will know where it is, and go all the way up. There's some, the next country is Austria, Germ Switzerland, then go to Germany, Poland, and whatnot, then it cross over, yeah. About seven or eight countries, I can't remember. And we, we, I end up here in the North Cape. We were 24 hours daylight. So it's a midnight sun. It's, it's kind of fantastic. And I really, it's a, it's a highlight of this year or in so far. One of the best events, I think it would be. Because uh, why it is best to me? Because most of the routes are very well planned very not many traffics even you go through big cities they go through the cycling path very nice and then when once you cross over to the scandinavian country is <laughs> fantastic it's like a dream i i recently asked you like uh, about these stickers that you put on the rims oh okay this is new to you only started doing it in this race right so or, or before you really started. because i used to stick more over just to be visible yeah, but now you just point where the valve is. Yeah, the valve is so that at night, in case I need to do a repair, I can quickly find this thing. <laughs> Sometimes you just slumber, you can't find the, the, the valve. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not only about the night, I think that just is a testimony to the condition you're in when you're like 10 days riding your bike and you really yeah, want to yeah. If you have a, If you don't have a sticker, it's like, <laughs> you're like so tired, you don't know what to do. And this is the symbol of North Cape. So it's a uh, 40 kilometers total elevation, 40 kilometers total. I'm not so sure whether it's right, but uh, anyway, this is provided by one of the software, right? With GPS. Okay, move on then. I, I want to highlight the, okay. his, his setup. So you see the uh, front, tri uh, front triangle, there's a milk bottle there. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> milk bottle, yeah, milk bottle here. <laughs> so so <laughs> this is... I use a Meiji milk bottle, two liters. I will just cut out one of the bottles, then I'll slot in another bottle, then I strap it around. Oh, and right. It's, 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 so it's, 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 it acts as a, as a cage. Yeah. So okay, I'll do the uh, uh, bottle, oh, bottle. Oh, oh, in, 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 <laughs> then, then, then slot in another one and uh, strap with the macro tape. So you can carry two liters of water. Yeah. So I can, that is the key for me to stop as little stops as possible so that I have a lot of waters with me. But I think if for this journey, I never run out of water, so it's a bit redundant, but oh, it's, okay. it's, good. it's good to have. Yeah. yeah, and like, what's the number one here? It's like, what? 36? 36? 34. 34. 34, I think. 34, 34, 36. 34, 36. 34, 36. Yeah. But I'm going to increase it for the next ride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bigger behind. Yeah, okay, we discussed it. Yeah. All right. Okay. How to start? Those who want to start, get a bike. Get a comfortable bike. <laughs> get a bike. <laughs> Set a budget. There are so many bikes out there. It, I I would say set a budget. Different people have different budget. Yeah, you can have a twenty thousand bike, which I won't. I won't use it for my type of ride. Yeah. So it's up to you. Okay, get cycling computer, GPS, heart rate monitor, cadence meter. These two, I think is a must. Yes. It's for training. Okay, ride with groups. If you have a group, ride with groups. And then you also <laughs> must ride solo because most of the event I've taken, somehow I have to ride solo for a long while. Yeah, you won't be able to stick to your good friends because of space or whatever, unless you are so determined there are groups that they start and end together, which I really admire. Not easy. 
Yeah. Like, do you think he will drop us on, on our next ride? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because you are too small I want to see you don't hey, want. There's one, <laughs> I want to there's eat one. you don't want. <laughs> there's one friend on the camera. <laughs> Still did not drop. No, I will drop you in Singapore. Don't worry. Uh, but I will keep you. I will keep you if you go with me in Mal into Malaysia. <laughs> okay, we move on. Okay, get things like safety helmet, front light, and real light. Wrong spelling. Uh, basic repairs through those. You must learn how to repair at least your tires. Practice repairing. Navigation system. I use Garmin. You can use Wahoo, and you can use your handphone with. Ah, do you have a GPS computer? Uh, no, I'll use this. Cannot. I can. Cannot. Why? Because you need navigation. Right, oh, okay. okay. Unless you stick to him. I'll stick to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next thing is oh, safety. <laughs> I'm very checking useful. system. You go out riding for days. You don't want people, your friends, your family to worry. Report. Yeah. Update where you are. Or get some kind of... Uh, GPS that they can track on the computer. Yeah. Well, there was a moment. Uh, remember, Lily, when he went there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we were tracking Stephen on Transcontinental, like on our uh, group chat. Yeah. 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 This year, and then at some point he stopped going northbound. And he started going southbound and very fast. And we we're like, crap! Something must have happened. And someone called you, like yeah, yeah, another yeah. friend. Yeah. And he's like, hey, this is happening live. So Lily is like also on the phone and checking out and she and she sees also like the husband is going like 60 kilometers an hour on a highway. This <laughs> and yeah, it's scary. in the wrong direction. It's scary, scary. Yeah. What actually happened is like he had a puncture and there was a dude that picked him up to bring him back to the town that had some like kind of like a repair shop yeah. so that he could at least do something in a, in a workshop. But it looked like as if it was like an accident or something. Yes. Yeah, it happens in yes. Finland. Yeah. The, the problem is when I received a call from his friend and his, how his friend highlighted to me is in case his friend tell me he's traveling at 70 km, I don't know how, how fast it is. So he said it's a vehicle Very speed. <laughs> vehicle so speed. yeah, it's a, it's a vehicle it's speed. Yeah, it's not a cycling speed. Yeah. His friend, how his friend put it to me it really frightened me of vehicle speed. So that is kind of interesting. So if you have a puncture, if somebody help you on a vehicle, report first. <laughs> okay, sign up for events so that you will be motivated to train. Uh, what I did, I did Ironman, Odex 200, 300, 400, 600, and go on. So, for your information, for to go Paris, the event where the big event is, you have to do two, three, four, six. Uh, yes, you don't need to, yeah. to get your they call it uh, SR Super Rank. <coughs> yeah, other you events. medals. Yeah. You can buy the medals. You can buy the medals. You can buy the medals. There are many other races out there where you don't need pre qualification, where there are gravels, there are uh, Trans America. You can do it every year, every time. Every year there is Trans America, one of the, one of the, what do you call that? Maybe better than gold. Yeah, Indy Pack. This is a very difficult race. The Silk Road Mountain Race. Yeah, very dangerous. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Transam is unsupported as well, right? Uh, yeah, Transam is unsupported, meaning you carry your own stuff. It starts from somewhere in Portland, the, the yeah. west coast, yeah, to the east coast somewhere in Washington, Yorktown. Yeah, and, and the RAM, the difference is the RAM is uh, you have to be supported. You have to ah. have a vehicle of your support. Transam, you can just do on a bike. Yep. Yeah, Ram, if you do the race across America, it's the same way, so it starts from... It's not the same way, it's almost the same, it's cross, almost, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, but there, there you need to have someone, even if you're going solo, you need to have a race support car. For your information, the, I mean, maybe expand a bit on cost. All this, it depends on how long you would do it. For a Ram, you know, just say, yeah, it probably fair. take about 20 to 30,000 US dollars just to participate. Yeah. Other thing is your support. Uh, so uh, for Trans M is where you want to sleep, where you want to eat, how you want to sleep, how you want to eat. <laughs> like maybe a twenty three uh three day three weeks event, four weeks event you can do to two months up to you. <laughs> Nobody will stop you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How I train for event? Make training a hobby habit. Train. 
There's no secret. Just train. <laughs> Make it a habit. Commit, discipline. If you can afford, get a coach. Yeah, a coach will guide you. Okay, train progressively. Don't jump into mount too too heavy training, and then don't get yourself over trained and injured. Key. Okay, the next thing I train with is use heart rate, cadence, and power option to me. These two is important. So get your maximum heart rate. Roughly, it is done by this two two zero minus H. You roughly get your maximum heart rate. At 70 to 80 percent of your maximum heart rate that could be a guide you can do other things if different people different folks have different things that, that is what i do cadence a good cadence guide 80 to 100 rpm train on the stationary bike i do on stationary bike because i like to read the numbers and data it's a bit i'll call it psycho psychopath <laughs> do long rides multiple days test out your equipment whatever you want to bring test it out what i eat and drink basically sugar salt and carbo where i eat in that 7-eleven gas station supermarket hotels restaurants depends on where you choose and typically for stops for long distance I will do probably two days out, one night in. That means one night hotel, then two days rough out. Rough out meaning, meaning I camp. For the dog's cave, you camp all the way? Uh, almost, almost. But I still stay in hotel for one or two nights. can't remember. McDonald's, good friend. 24-7, <laughs> a lot. But not all 24-7 in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Potato chips. Yeah, this is my favorite. I think Asni has learned that also. It's a small Sarah, packet. Yeah, small packet. Calories. Yeah, it's just put into the pocket. And then it can you probably can get from you can get it from Sing Shop. Red, stinker bar. Ah, this stinker bar is one of the best to get in Europe. Easiest to get. Coke 100 plus instant noodle for salt. Let's cook at 7 Eleven. Yep. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's a bundle of six. So it's so damn forty-eight packet. Yeah, that's a lot. Six times six. So yeah, and six times eight. eight. Six times eight. It's and it's two hundred cal each, and it's like you have to buy it. Two hundred, one hundred ten cal, cal, cal each. One yeah. piece of the cake, roughly, will last me for an hour plus minus. It's about a gel pack. Yeah, it, it and it's more convenient. I think the only problem with that is that. You need to instantly rinse it with, uh, it's because it's dry, yeah. so you need to rinse it with water, but it's way better than the gels for sure. Yeah. Okay, and ready, ready to eat food packaging. Yes. We have a lot of cup noodles in Google, you've seen it, right? I yeah, showed yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. kitchens. Yeah. yeah, if it's happened on the, if Google is on the, my way on the road, Please I would stop in. by. Totally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Navigation. Okay, you must, you must learn how to use your GPS. What I've used is, I mean GPS, I'm not a seller, so it's up to you, any GPS works. Right with GPS is an uh, app. You can get where I only pay for the subscri subscription version during my event, which is cost like 10 US dollar per month. That's, that's what I do. You can pay for a year or whatever, but I only pay for the event periods. Google Maps, yeah. I should put this up here. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you for your trust. <laughs> Google Maps is very good. Because once I reach a city, I want to look for a whatever, hotel, restaurant, Google Maps. Yeah. You can also use the uh, street view to check the location. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's Road good. planning, Google Maps is one of the best. Or maybe the best. Not one of the best, the best. Nothing else I use, Google Maps. Sleep, how I sleep, or what I bring for my last ride. Credit card, mobile phone, sleeping system, what you want, BV10. BV10, just in case you don't know, I have one here later, I'll show you. Sleeping bag, 15 degrees Celsius rated, and plus a thin jacket, just in case it's not warm enough, I'll put on the jacket and slot in. Yeah, 
because the, the temperature was like the low I experienced for the last ride was like eight degrees Celsius. So this is good enough. Second thing is power, uh, power lights. I I will like batteries. I used to use Dynamo. There are different different system for different people. What I bring for the power is 20,000, uh, 65 watt. And this thing can be charged up in 90 minutes from zero, which is a lot more efficient for me comparing to Dynamo. Yeah. yeah. One front light, um, power bank, one spare front light, two real lights. So what I bring, there was a question of what, oh yeah, I was there was asking what to bring. Yeah, this is what I bring. Uh, chair to this, uh, I think there was some door question on this. Must have item. Yeah, must have. Yeah, this is more or less a must have item. You, if you use, you, if you choose to use the Dynamo, you can save the weight of the power bank, which is not really heavy. Actually, the Dynamo is heavier. It's no, a lot of, it creates frictions. It yeah. lost, it needs some power to overcome the friction. Three watt of resistance when it's activated yeah. and the weight is about maybe 800 to 1 kg. Yeah. So now the lithium battery, like the the power bank Steven use is basically it's very efficient. Yeah, and then 500 gram only. And then if I really run down of power, I go to 7-Eleven, plug in half an hour, I'm, I'm back to 50%. Okay. Re readable dress. You dress like ninja just in case you feel cold. Uh, glasses, sunglasses, two, lay two base layer. Base layer is basically to keep your skin dry and change it. It's important the skin. The base layer is one of the most important things. It's about laying. Do you do Marina or like what are you doing? Oh, um, it's no, he's he like mesh. I think it's, it's, the base uh, layer is mesh. Well, I, I, I cannot use synthetic. I will have rash. Mesh. I think it's, it's a must. Beat two just in case you want to change. Many people just use one. Yeah, so it's up to you. Just well, if you if you crash, then you tear it up, right? So it's... I can always buy on the road. Oh, okay. you hit, uh, hit some town, you can just go and buy. Yeah, I'm warmer, legs warmer. Full finger glove. I only wear full finger glove when it's cold. In Singapore, I don't wear glove. <laughs> Reflective vest, important for safety. Raincoat, pants, very important for do long distance. You, do you do you ride in a raincoat? Yes, yes, a lot. Do you tuck it or like how about the flapping and like... Okay, raincoat I'll get from Decathlon. It's okay. cheap and good. Okay. It's good enough with some breathing holes. Okay. Yeah. T-shirt. Just in case you feel like you want to walk in a town, at least have a t-shirt. Don't dress like a psychopath. Cy yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, underwear up to you. You don't want to change those again. <laughs> Short pants. Yeah, just, these are for more like for walking in the town if yeah. you need to. A few pair of socks. Yeah. SPD. Yeah, this is for more like walking. SPD is basically mountain bike shoes. Where you can walk better than road shoes. Road shoes have something pops up where you cannot walk properly. Oh, I have the uh, option. I brought this heated jacket where you can put a power bank and heat it up, but I never use that. It's not required. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hydration. Yeah, that's the water, water, water bottle. How you pack it is up to you. For me, I have my two little bottle. Uh, some hygiene and medication too fast. All this is up to you. So fast. This is important. Ah, this is important. Vaseline gel. There are many types of gel. Not Vaseline is just one of them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's up to you. Some block. Yep. The I rest. Would add, I, I would add uh, like Bipanthan for sure here. But okay. Just our information back. Okay. Painkiller is a, is important. Yeah. Painkiller. Antihistamine because I sometimes I have rashes. Just take one, can take away the each. Painkiller, in case you have a knee pain, headache, whatever, yeah, it helps. Yeah, the, the 1300 km ride with him uh, yeah. this, this much ride. Yeah, yeah. So the last day, my my Achilles tendon is, like, I think, just a, a bit of 
inflammation, so it's very painful. I took to his pain. Uh, and then we we were doing three grams of vitamin C a day. Oh yeah, yeah. So just for for faster recovery from the multi day. So it's it's small item, but it's important to me. I think just in case. Okay, mini tools, chain breaker, just in case, chain break or somehow you can repair mini lock, just in case you are alone, you want to visit the toilet supermarket, just chain it up. Yeah, quick one. Inner tube just for repair on your puncture mini tire pump yeah we can like to use the electrical one that is so cool, cool. <laughs> it's but it's so like cool 800 grams of no, more 400 only 400 okay 400 only. Really? Now change to another one it's only 380. <laughs> what brand is it what brand <laughs> now using the full pump the previous one is the bosch okay i'm going to take a look i i i trust the manual pump is is better lighter lighter and more trustworthy in a way because in case no power you can pump up <laughs> that one can run on battery but for the for information the last right my mini pump failed <laughs> so i have to get a new mini pump spare brake pads just in case you have long descent you need that because after a while the brake pads will be worn out but for me i will bring a pair of brake uh, brake pads okay spare change quick link the small little link yeah that is also good to bring it's small and good spare spokes for the wheel a few nipples this is subjective depends on how easy your wheel is if some people has very fancy wheels you can't find any spokes available in any place in europe or per se unless yours is a very easy type zip tie also important you have loose part comes up you just Hi. Well, you forgot that. What? I need scissors. <laughs> I use a zip tie for his spokes or something like that. We can't find. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't find how to cut it. So we ended up like trying to cut it with our teeth with like some stones and like rubbing against something else. It was like. Yeah. Okay, the, the next thing I, I bring a small pack, backpack with me just in case I have other things to bring. Yeah, so you can yeah. buy those packable one, so it folds down to uh this size. Yeah. You won't know. Sometimes you have you buy so much food, then you have no place to store. <laughs> okay, so cycling uh small pack uh cycling cap. Why a cycling cap? Cold. No, oh, it's more for rain. Uh, it's more for rain and uh, and and when it's very shiny, you can actually shoot as a yeah. I think. Cycling cap is good. Okay. Okay, this is how I pack my bike when I... Okay, we will go, go one more slide first. Okay. This is how I pack my bike into this box for events. So basically, this is how I return. <laughs> because once I reach the airport, I dump away the box. So when I finish and point B, I have to look for how to pack it. If you can find a bike shop, get a proper bike box there's the bike the box yeah don't put it in I for this case i couldn't find one i go to the supermarket or diy shop get this thing and then wrap it up wrap it up with paper finish right okay Woohoo! thank you okay uh your bike setup was static Wei Chung actually uh he recorded the video. Okay, wait, I have like your name differently here. So uh, you didn't notice. Ah, uh, wait. Uh, this is the video of your setup, right? Uh, let me switch to this one. Ah, this is Rachel. Can you change to a higher resolution. Yeah, I'm trying. This is 1080 now. Did you capture more than 1080? This is 1080. Uh, Expo is 1080. Ah, okay. Then it should be, should be it, I guess. Yeah, we can start from here, actually. So this is a setup I use with the ride with Anthony recently. Yeah. We go to we go to Malaysia. So we fly to Kuala Lumping. Kuala Lumping on the first day. So yeah. it's a uh, town pass Mersing about 200, 220 km up. Then we up cut across Malaysia to Malacca on the second day, and on the third day we rode back from Malacca to Singapore. So. This is the setup I use. So, so basically, uh, here is a frame pack I custom customize 
order from Rogue Panda. So later I will show the other side. So this is the driver side. Oh, wait, wait, don't, don't. Yeah, okay. So this is the driver side. So this pack, pack, this pocket is only a slot. So it, I can slot in some zip tie and uh, some uh, my passport also inside here. Then the back side here is one of the light. This is the main light I use and uh, this is the radar. So, so the radar is very useful uh, when riding at the night. So when I'm on my arrow bar, it will beep when there's car coming from behind. Behind. So, so I, I will be alerted and. Uh, That's why you always, you, yeah. you always like car, car. I'm like, yeah. here. It's like, <laughs> because you have a beep there. Now, yeah. it, now it'll connect. So, so, so because <laughs> because uh, when riding at night, the cars are very sparse, but they 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 drive actually quite fast. Yeah. So I I cannot stay in the arrow bar because it, it, I have less control. Yeah. Then so you need to move back. Yeah, so I will move back. Then the top one here is a, a Apidula bar top. Uh, it's a magnetic flap, so it can close on its own and uh, open very easily. So I keep my small items like soft pills, caffeine pills, and uh, uh, charger, uh, a spare, spare small 5,000 milliampere charger inside here. Then these bags uh, and uh, the, all these setups are all my usual setup for Malaysia ride. This is my Malaysia ride bike. <laughs> so 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 what I added on is this uh this uh snack bag, then the front the front bag and uh, yeah. So this basically is this two are add, added on. So the, this snack bag I put all all my but uh, energy gels. I think you, you uh, have it from some other side, right? Yeah, later we can see. So the front, this is a front light. So this run, runs on runs on bat, uh, battery pack. So I plug in uh, use normal USB power bank. Then it can it can output a, a thousand two lumen maximum. But I I think I use mostly the four hundred eighty lumen. So it's about three point six watt. Then then uh one ten k power bank can run about twelve thirteen hours of yeah. that. Yeah. So the back the front back is the arrow bar back it, it attached to my arrow bar. Because uh my bike is very small. So so normal handlebar bag will touch the wheel. So attach it to the arrow bar. which one? Is it I I'm skipping through the video because I, okay. I remember you had a view from the top. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so so here is the attach point. Then I attach my my JBL Go speaker here together with the arrow bar, so I can listen to music when writing. Then the, my computer is at the top here, so I don't need to look down. I can look straight and also uh, looking at my. You, you don't have shifters. I just realized it's uh, just yeah, you don't the, have shifters. The shifters at the back. So uh, this is a heat shrink tube. Okay. So my uh, I have two blips at the back. Then string tube wrap, wrap it onto my my bar so it runs. I think these are the cables that into my uh shifters here. Into shifter. So it's a uh ETAP eleven speed shifter. So so I can shift here from from here and not from here. And then there is a Bluetooth into the actual derailers, right? That's a wireless. Yeah, yours is yeah wireless. Yes. So so uh. Yeah, the arrow bar is really important because during long ride, your hand will uh, swollen or it will also run. be damaged. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't use arrow bar for the LRM right then. My left hand, these two fingers become very weak for about one month. So I cannot cannot clench my fist for about one month. So uh, here is a non-drive side. So I have two levels. The bottom uh, here inside is a triangle uh, water bladder. Water, water yeah. bladder uh, from, from Apidula 1.5 liters. So it connects all the way here through this pump. So that's your drinking point. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have it here somewhere. So I use, uh, I attach this to a uh, uh, helmet. And a nose. <laughs> <laughs> helmet, helmet clamp so you can, you can play a little bit. So it clicks. Uh, wait, wait, that's right. Okay, go back again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, from here. Wait. So, 
So basically, uh, yeah. so basically, this is the helmet clamp. Uh, fit. I think it's a fit lock. Fit lock. So it's I cut it from a uh broken helmet. Then then it attached attached attach very firmly. Even in Malaysia, those uh. Hit, when you're hitting a portal, it won't drop off. Okay. Then uh, here is also a magnetic to to keep the tube from swinging. Then this pump you can squeeze and uh, it will spray quite far. I think I spray on as new one, yeah. one once because he's almost having a heat stroke. <laughs> so so this side like you're just fooling around. Yeah, this side is a uh, is a drinking side. So I don't need to suck because uh, because the gutter is located very low. Down, down. So if I want to drink with, with mouse, it's very difficult to suck. With a pump, I just squeeze. It's easier and uh, less effort. Then the other side is uh, uh, uh this uh, this one here. So this is uh, uh I think it's lovely design mountain. So it has, so it has two pulls. So I can open. I if I pull this tab. If I pull one of the tab, it will open. I will call that a food bag. Yeah. So food, so food. I put all the pineapple cake inside. I oh, okay. bought I bought nine. I think I bought nine on that day, uh, trip. Then I bought nine pineapple cake, two caffeine gel, and one bar. So I ate. I think first day ate only a. Three or something, but we were, we were eating and eating and eating. Second day, I ate six or five okay. because the second day is is mm -hmm. torturing. The first stop is seventy km, then the second stop is one hundred eight, one hundred fifty five. I think so. Mm -hmm. So in between, there's nothing for eighty five km. <laughs> then uh, uh, I, I can try sharing the uh, the route for the folks. I think I have it here in window. Uh, it, yeah, I was with them on the first day, but the second day I, I'm not there. He, <laughs> he put in headwind for 110 km, average 34.5, I think. Then then we are all exhausted. <laughs> I don't train a lot, as you can see, for this long distance. Once I left them on day one, they were so happy. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes, we can ride uh, at our relaxed pace. This is it. Yeah. So day yeah. one, we cycled until about, I think about, yeah. about here. Yeah. About here. Yeah. Then day two, first stop here, then second stop in the middle somewhere, I don't yeah, know. So this is our sleep, like, yeah. yeah, this is where, no, yeah, here, Rumpin. Yeah, from Rumpin. Steven left us from here. Yeah. Steven went back. Yeah, I went back. Upstairs. And then this one from Rumpin till about this highway we did in the full night. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, right. This one. Yeah, to Bandar. Yeah, and then from here it was like nothing, nothingness, almost to the edge. Because of it's, Malacca. I think, because Hari eh, no, uh, Dipavali. Yeah. Because Dipavali, all the shops are closed. Then there's no, there's no control kills. Yeah. Then nothing. There's at one moment my music stops because there's no no signal on my phone. Yeah, so yeah, he was on Spotify and then ran out of it. Anyway, switching back, wait a second, it was a tab here. Share. Okay, so. So uh, I will talk about the tools I bring during all my ride. Uh, basically, it's. Uh, you are taking, you are thinking about the risk mitigation when doing wrong right. Because when you are doing short right and in Singapore, you can bring nothing and you are you are okay. Even if you can, even if you you stuck in the middle, you can always call grab. Yeah. Then, but in 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 Malaysia or in other countries doing wrong right, you you must have something to to fix your bike. Otherwise, you might. Stuck, stuck in nowhere and may maybe you don't even have signal on your phone. And on top of that, you have flies and uh, mosquitoes. Yeah. Yes. So, so basically on the horizontal axis is the severity of your failure. 
heart failure. So, so like chain break, tie puncture, adhesional break, and uh, in the middle is maybe parts adjustment. You need to adjust parts, and uh, the lower severity one is a bearing issues or break or chain drop. You can you can fix. But chain drop, I I I once called a grab because of chain drop. It's stuck inside my inner chain ring between my inner chain ring, chain ring and the frame and I cannot take it out so so the, uh, and the vertical axis is our current so we can see that tire puncture is always the most uh, most easy to happen one but our defender breaking break is very rare I, I encountered I think three to Two, two, three times. Not me. I never break my chain. But, but my my friends when riding, then Adi handle break and Stella encounter once. Then I think we encounter another. It's not break, but it's bent. So so yeah, we have to bend it back. Then uh, pass adjustment is quite common. Then chain job is also quite common. Personally, always. I had a two. Work. Yeah, I had a. I had two. We in the end we removed two from the default length. Because for my for my drivetrain it was too long, and then in Malaysia you go over those. If they're not even potholes, they're just like bumps. Bumps, yeah, lots of bumps, and then the chain starts to wobble. It gets into resonance, and it can just drop. Yeah. So, then. so, so and spot break. Spot break. Usually you can get away with it. If only one one break. Yeah. yeah. So, but if multiple break, then also a big issue. Then uh, bearing bearing usually even it's stuck, you can still ride. But uh, it will be a bit slower. So, so next. So basically, uh, we draw a line. So we want to tackle anything above my on the line, and uh, we can ignore the the. We, we just accept the residual risk. So 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 for short ride, we can move this line across to the right hand side but for a long ride you need to think about this so that's why Stephen mentioned he brings spare spokes for for his North Cape one because it's in 4000 km you don't know that you don't know what will happen so two selection criteria are uh, for my preference is uh, usability comes first so you need to the tool need to be easier to use so for example I I bring a uh, ratchet wrench instead of the the Swiss knife style multi tools because ratchet wrench is so much easier to use than the the, the foldable ones. But it's a bit slightly bigger one than the foldable ones. Then the second is the size because you have limited space on your bike. Then the last is the weight because actually the weight won't slow slow you down too much, especially when you are riding rolling terrain. Unless it's always on a steep climb, it will slow you down a little bit. But I think one kg of weight still won't slow you down much. So next, next. So uh, this is all the tools I bring. Uh, I didn't put in the zip ties. I put in the right hand side. But I bring I uh, think three to five zip ties. In my the bread is there. Uh, the bread. Oh, that the one is Bosch. But now I use I, I bought another boom pop pump. So that one is smaller. This is a bit big. So the weight is almost the same. Three hundred eighty gram. This is four hundred gram. But oh, okay. but the foam pop pump is only like this size. So this goes to carousel. Then what you're saying? Uh, so I'm still keep it in my uh, commute bag. Okay. So the center is a uh, sealant. So sixty mil of sealant because we are running on tubeless. So. So if sealant spray too much, then we we can top up. Then this is my uh two bag. So the content. So these are all the all the tools. That's I such a wonderful topic, uh range. Yeah. yeah. This is a uh, uh ratchet wrench, so it can go uh, counterclockwise or clockwise. Yes, yeah, the switch at the back. So, so I can use this extender and all the bits here to to adjust anything. I think I have. Uh, as I need adjust his handle power yeah, it, yeah, it will much better because you can reach further into the um into the cockpit where a lot of bolts are shielded and you would either if you had like a multi tool you would only have like twenty degrees or thirty degrees like one sector so you need to yeah. turn take out turn yeah, this, this one you can stop in there and then start to turn so easy yeah. yeah 
Then this is a uh, uh, Silka Silka two Silka talk talk. I don't know what it was. And it's a it's a talk big. So it can no no. So this one can measure uh two to eight newton meters of torque. Oh, it's a torque. Yeah. Okay. So, so for some that delicate part, we can use this. Then these two are the are the spe uh uh inner armory. So please repair kit. So I, I have a picture later. And this is a row of row of uh back tape. So I use this to fix Y case bar tape. Right. But he had a crash on the second day. And uh, this is a spare handle. So because because the hanger is so small, I, I think everyone should bring a spare hanger. It's much easier to change the hanger than you try to bend it back. Yeah, especially if you crash on the right side. Um, yeah. And this is two coin battery for the shifters. So because I'm running on this is uh, a uh, shifter battery. So uh, the derailleur battery, this is a shifter battery. So because I'm running on ETAP, so it's a coin battery. I, I think I sent you also. Yeah. Then it, this is a, a multi-tool wrench Gerber dime. So I have a picture later. And then this is a multi-tool chain breaker and uh, the quick link plier. So I I get I'm at getting this because what I had one I had to uh, take grab home because of a chain job. After that, I get one of these. So so these are the tools. So this is closed and this is yeah. open. Yeah. This, so. Basically, it's a, like a small flower. There's a bob head, bob tip, bob tip. So you just shove it into the puncture, and uh, it will the the cloth here will react with latex and uh, form a very strong bond. And uh, this side is uh, for smaller punctures on the tread. So this is mainly for bigger punctures or the side walls because for small punctures you cannot put this in. It's, a bit very difficult to show in, but this is for small punctures, and uh, I usually bring two spare valve because because for tubeless, uh, sealant can get in and uh, clog the valve. Then it will you will get a leak at the valve. Then this is a valve key, but actually for this one, the bottom is also a valve key. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's us. So this is what we what happened is Asini hit a big portal and have a snake bite, pinch puncture. I I think there was a picture here. Yeah. yeah. So so I just showed in the uh what is that called the flower bud you said no no there's a there's a flower dot yeah stand stands no tube dot so immediately I pump to 90, 90 psi then we can start writing again. Yeah. Insane. Rocket science. <laughs> oh, and actually, I rode on it uh, even the week after, only um, because I because I couldn't buy a twenty eight size um, tubeless. So actually, I rode. Once it holds, it should hold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah actually, yeah. it will hold indefinitely. Yeah, it's just holds. Yeah. So I rode another week on it. So, it's... so uh, here's this is a a prior. Uh, so it's Gerber time. It's like actually I bought the whole. Hey, tools. It's like this size. You can show it to the camera. So, so this is a multi tool. Where's the camera? Ah, yeah. In between Center. the TV. So one, oh, one yeah, side, two. this side is a plier. So the plier is very useful. It can Pack up any stones inside your tire because usually sometimes it will stuck inside your tire. Then you need to take it out before you change your inner tube. Then it's sometimes it's very hard to pick it out. With fingers, yeah. Yes. So this is very useful. And there's a wire cut here, so we can use this. Steven's point about cutting zip ties. Yeah. Now we change has. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm waiting at like five km away. Yeah, yeah. You you had your punk, uh, your your spoke break at Mongdai, right? Mongdai. Yeah. Then the outer side, outer side, I didn't open. It's quite difficult to open actually. So we have a finger, uh, uh, tweezer, knife. This is a, uh, this is a box opener. We, we usually won't won't need this. Then there's some files and uh, screwdrivers. Not so useful. Then next. So this is another tool uh, for from the design. It's a 
So it's it has multiple functions. So when it's open like this, we, we can use this to open quick link and uh, close quick link. Then there's a storage for quick link at back. Then uh, it can be break into two parts. Tire lever. No, not tire lever. Actually, I didn't break high tire lever because I YK will bring because he's a <laughs> teacher. So. So this is a chain breaker, so we can open this. Wow. Then, then we can use this to break chain. It's quite good to use. Even I, I sometimes use this to break chain even at home. So so we can use this as a lever, leverage to break chain. Then uh, this side is a disc rotor tuner. So you can bend your disc rotor if it's warped. Then bottle opener. Good for us, Andy. Yeah, good for me. <laughs> but this yeah, this is supposed to be a, a valve, valve key, valve key. But this is not so useful because I can only turn about less than one hundred eighty degrees. So I cannot use this to open. This, this yeah. is easier. You just block yeah, it. So open. so, but, but then it's there. But the the best is you can keep your quick link here. Yeah. So I have two. Speed and 211 speed. Thank you. Okay. Next. Cool. So this is a IK spark tape. I just use the. Uh... Okay. YK is not around, but also he has a uh, new slide here. But I'm also. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. This is YK. I'm now uh, at Philippines on a business trip. Sorry that I cannot be with you all. Uh, but thanks to Arseni for and uh, Google for the invitation. I'll be much happy that I can be with, uh, with you all, but unfortunately I cannot. So let's uh, start a short introduction about myself. I'm 40 uh, with uh, two uh, young kids. I started cycling about um, eight years ago uh, as a therapy uh, for my uh, sleep disc issue uh, at the lower back. So at the time, I really uh, suffer and uh, struggle um, due to a, a slip disc uh, at the lower back. I'm not even can uh, carry my a two year old, uh, uh, not two year old, I think two months uh, uh, baby boy. So I'm really upset about uh, um, the situations. So then I start the, the cycling with a folding bike, um, which is an upright position, and then uh, it get. Uh, better and better, and then I um, become a more uh, adventurous, and then um, I try mountain bike, and this is really good for me. I see a lot of uh, improvement in terms of uh, my back uh, conditions, and then I start uh, with a road bike, and then the more I do, and then I have a more passion about uh, uh, cycling, and then I start to do um, more about uh, endurance uh, ride. Uh, actually, I'm a small size uh, rider. I don't have a big uh, power output, so I'm not good in, in a sprint. But I'm uh, found out that I'm quite suitable for um, endurance uh, ride, uh, as I also have a low uh, heart rate. Uh, so this is how I start with uh, uh, long distance cycling. So uh, at the following slide, uh, there will be uh, some pictures and uh, videos um, about uh, my ride. And I believe uh, uh, Stephen and Wei Chen has a more interesting story to share. I hope you all enjoy. Right. But basically, yeah, we probably, like, there are some very long videos here, but uh, speaking, uh, speaking about YK, he did a couple of charity rides and uh, I asked uh, I asked him uh, to also enroll the courses that he did on Benevity. So like, watch out! I'll be sending some promotions. He also has. Uh, it, I think this video is quite long, though, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, four minutes. But basically, he has a setup. Uh, it's right now without the air bars and without his uh, uh, like trip grade setup. But he goes through uh, his uh, choices, like what is he, what, what is he using for, for it, and then basically on top of that, when he, when he rides long distance, there is a, a bag similar to what uh, Stephen uh, is in their in their slides, 
there's a bag that he has, the Arab bars, and this is us in Malacca. Uh, yeah, just a few. This is his um, uh, right for humanity. This was their cause that he did. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is 11 minutes, kind of long. Folks can go through it. A lot of Malaysian roads as is, you can understand what it, what, like if you never rode in Malaysia before, like some, some really scenic, some really scenic. Just say that Makan was there in the first, <laughs> the first <laughs> random point of this video. There was always, there's, there's already Makan. So yeah, there was a lot of Makan. See if there is anything else from YK. Yeah, I think this is the last slide. Woo! We're seven minutes over. Awesome. Are there any more? had more questions. Uh, share this tab instead. Uh, I think we're pretty much done. This is amazing. Thank you once again, folks, for your nothing left. Yeah. So we we already answered the question there. Uh, and yeah. Once again, thank you. I have a quick one. Just to show a bit of sleeping thing. Yeah, 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 sure, totally. If like, if anyone wants to see, I'll just uh, um, I'll disable hey, the sharing. What yeah. I bring, this is my sleeping system. This is my bicycle handlebar. Yeah, the old one. No, I'm, I didn't use this. So what I attach is this thing where my BV and my sleeping bag is inside. So when I find a place, preferably with Something like that, cup pattern, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but I, yeah, I haven't got one yet. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I do. It's quite a quick one. It's a very simple BB bag. Oh, this is, yeah. It's just like a canvas sheet. Yeah. Then my sleeping bag is inside. Oh, it's already there. Yeah. yeah. Simple. So I will use this to prop, prop up. So that it doesn't fall onto my face, the BV, and I'll sleep. Simple. When I'm so tired, anywhere, my bed is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take it down, you just lay it on the floor. Yeah, I, I, I slot myself I mean, in. I mean, all those all those uh, attachments you won't. No, no, I won't, I won't prop the bed up because it will be on my body. Okay. I, I only prop I only prop what is in front of my face. Oh. So that it doesn't collapse onto my face. Yeah. I the first trip in transcontinental I didn't have this. So the can was kind of brought onto my face. And then I was wet the next day because my Transition. my respiration couldn't escape. My 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 I, as I breathe all the water start to collect inside. It's terrible. <laughs> this is a mask. Prop it up. Okay, simple. What's the brand of the AliExpress. AliExpress? AliExpress, man. <laughs> <laughs> Information is sixty dollars for this, and it's uh, it's netted, so you can leave the nets open so that you can breathe. You can look at the stars in a million dollars, a million star hotels. Yeah, I sleep in many nights in a million star hotels. It's wonderful. Please experience it for yourself. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. We're enjoying. Right. Stop the recording. Don't know how to okay. do it. You need to put the button there. DGIF. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.